Hey, 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 it's your poker guy and welcome back to MPL Poker's YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be discussing the money business. How to predict how much money you are making in cash games in poker. Well, you know, you've been playing poker like me and it is so hard to predict. You never know, uh, is my, sometimes your graph is going up, sometimes it's going down and end of the month, did I make a profit? Did I make a loss? How do I predict if this is a stable source of income for me? For this, the metric that poker players use is called a win rate. And the way to calculate a win rate is big blinds, one per 100 hands. So this is what a win rate is. Any win rate above zero is a good thing because that means you're a winning player, which itself is a rarity in poker. A win rate of four out of five, that is four blinds or five blinds out of every 100 hands played is actually very good. And in the Indian field, you can probably be touching 10, 11 as well. So, well, this is how you need to calculate your winning rate. Now, how to calculate this winning rate? You need something called a HUD, which is a heads up display to actually track and measure your win rate. A HUD actually looks into the various variables that are used in calculating what your win rate is. Let's look into that. Say, suppose you are someone who plays 1025 cash games and this month you've played 10,000 hands and won 20,000 rupees. So your winning year, suppose, is 20,000 rupees at 1025 cash games. So that is about 800 blinds that you have won out of your 10,000 hands. Now you know that your win rate is blinds per 100 hands. So when you divide this 800 big blinds divided by 10,000 hands, you will get your win rate of 8 blinds per 100 hands. So now guess what? Your win rate is 8 BB per 100 hands. Now what do you do with this information? How to use this information? Let's look into that. So if you know that, okay, my win rate at 1025 is 8, what I can do now is start putting in more volume. So if you're putting in 10,000 hands next month, maybe put in 20,000 hands. And of course you have to monitor your win rate if it sticks to 8, moves to 7, whatever. But if it sticks at 8, then if in 20,000 hands, your total winnings will now become 40,000 rupees because keeping the winning rate constant, you've increased your number of hands. The second thing that you can do is you can probably plan to increase your stakes. If you're playing 1025 and now you decide to make it to 2550, if you do that, the thing now you can do is keep your hands limited and if your winning rate is 8, but now your stakes are higher, then again your winnings will be 40,000 rupees at the same 10,000 hands. Of course, if you increase your stakes, multiple things might come into picture, your winning rate might go down, but you have a benchmark, which you can... The poker playing world will actually tell you that, of course, you need a sample of at least 100,000 hands to actually start predicting your win rate, because this will account for all the positives that happened, all the bad beats you gave, and all the bad beats and the bad, bad beats that you got. So. 100k hands is a good sample to take a decision on but in case you're a recreational player putting in low volume then 50,000 hands is also good enough to actually predict a good win rate. So well this is your video on win rate. I hope you also can start calculating your win rate. Please comment below that what is your win rate and thank you so much for liking, sharing and loving all our videos and please continue to do the same. Thank you so much for watching the video.